So let's talk about Doctor Who Backlash. Uh, this is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Welcome to Clownfish TV. Uh, we're going to put the uh, the clown and clownfish today. This is a one of the weirdest things I've ever seen on Twitter, really, but um, it doesn't surprise me at all. Stephen Moffat, the former showrunner of Doctor Who, put out a post where he basically was smacking somebody down for being a homophobe. And you would think he would be applauded for that, but Twitter actually took him to task because he said he knew some conservatives. He was friends with conservatives. So what? Yeah, yeah, right. Like, well, you, 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 by saying Twitter, you don't know where it all came from. They, they completely overlooked that he just smacked down uh, somebody who was homophobic, supposedly, right? Allegedly. And you would think that Twitter would be like, "Yes, you go, Steve." No, they weren't. They were like, "You have friends that are conservatives? How dare you? How dare you, Stephen? Oh my God, what's wrong with you?" So we're gonna talk about yes, this. We'll talk uh, about we're gonna talk about this in this very special episode of Clownfish TV. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 273,000 subs. Yay! Thank you Ooh. so much for the support. Okay. <laughs> These people really need to get a life because clearly they're younger people or they've been living in a bubble because prior to uh, several years ago, a few years ago, people had friends and they didn't, it didn't matter how they voted. Like, it used to happen all the time that, you know, you have friends and some of them might be Republicans, some might be Democrats, some might be Libertarians, some might be, you know, moderate. They were, they didn't pick a party, it didn't matter. Half the time you didn't even talk about it. And you could still be friends with those people. Yeah, it's it's only been in the last, you know, five or six years. Real, well, I mean, we've had different times in U.S. history where obviously people, you know, pick side. But, I mean, things have really gotten polarized. And I think that, you know, social media is playing into it. But the thing is, is that it does seem quarantined for the most part. There are a couple of urban areas where I'd say it's very prominent, you know, if you're for or against whatever cause. But for the most part, it seems like it's quarantine, mostly as social media. And I think people are getting a very distorted view of what the real world is actually like mm -hmm. and the nuance in the, the real world. Well, it's because the people that are on Twitter are the ones who are the extremists that aren't paying attention or trying to. You know, I'm an activist, but I don't have to pay attention. And the problem is, like we've said many times, haven't we? We don't care if you, you know, how you identify. We don't care if you, who you sleep with. We don't care what religion you are. Are you an asshole? And if you are, screw off. That's yeah. that's basically where we sit. Yeah, and and so what happened was Stephen Moffat basically told, uh, I believe, an alleged a, alleged asshole to screw off. Let's read what he said first. So this was a response to this guy. I, I looked for his account. I didn't I didn't see it. I don't know what's going on. Or this was on message board or something. Um, Glad you're still around, Stephen. Russell T Davies blocked me on two accounts. Mm. I love Doctor Who and was very nice to him. He didn't particularly like my views in politics. So I, I don't know what his views are. Apparently, mm -hmm. the guy's apparently, allegedly, allegedly, you have to take other people's words for it, which, you know, we know how that goes. Um, allegedly homophobic, which I've never brought those up. Okay, well, 11 will always be my favorite. Let's go off it. Now, that doesn't seem like a very uh, uh, scathing comment <laughs> at all. It's like, no. hey, I like your stuff. Uh, he said, seriously, look, I'm an old leftist. Yes, I have plenty of conservative friends, and I don't love them any less for that. But not one of them left or right would post, for example, a video of people cheering at the end of Pride Month because it's aggressive and hostile to gay people. What happened was this. You were offensive to gay people, and a great man who happens to be gay took offense. What did you expect? So there, there has hopefully there's more to it. Than hopefully this. there's more to it than this. And again, I, I don't know the full context. The, this video is about... Twitter's takeaway, which is, oh my God, Stephen, how dare you have conservative friends? Uh, take my word for it. The doctor would not have your back on this. Uh, no, the, I, I... Do people understand that there are a lot of conservatives who aren't white, straight, or male? No. Do they understand there's a lot of people who who are, who are LGBTQ that, that lean conservative? No. And that, <laughs> you know, because they, they have this idea in their head that if you don't go to extremes that they go to, you're automatically the other side. And there's a lot of, it's mostly gray areas. It's not black and white. It's almost all gray. Yeah. So I, I'm, again, I'm hoping, assuming that there are some, like apparently this guy was, if he was blocked twice by Russell T Davies, that there was some context there. Well, it sounds like he was being an asshole. If he was being an asshole to Russell T Davies, who is a gay man, by the way, um, 
then yeah, he should be. So it sounds like on. Russell T. Davis said about Pride Month, and he put a post up of people cheering that it was over or something. So here's here's Twitter's takeaway, and this is a handful. I don't want to put too many people in the crosshair here, but these are public. Do not tweets. contact people. Do not contact. Any They're of these the people. idiots who put it up. Just leave them alone. Um, you know, to be honest, Moffat telling that person off was ruined before it even began when he admitted to being friends with conservatives. This is ridiculous. You can't be friends with somebody who doesn't agree with you politically. This is the dumbest, most uh, mentally stunted bullshit I've ever seen. And you want to know why nothing changes? Because these people have to stay in their, their cushy echo chambers. And they cannot have any conversation that doesn't include, you know, everybody repeating back to them what they believe. Uh, after the past several years, and this person's only 21 years old, so I'm sure they have tons I, of experience. I, I, oh, shocker. It's a young shocker. person who's like 20-something. Yeah. No, I would never have guessed that. After the past several years, any illusions of leftists and conservatives can be friends have dissolved when conservatives want marginalized people but gone. But that's not true. There are marginalized people that... Lean conservative. People are all over the place. Now, here's the thing. We've talked about this before, and I'm going to go back. God, I can't even with these people. Yeah, I'm 21. Uh, yeah, 21 years old. So, you know, you've been indoctrinated. I was going to say, my indoctrination says I can't, do, I can't be friends with you because you vote differently than me. Well, you have to you, now. You have to go wherever you meet somebody. You have to let them know what your what your political affiliation is before you can even speak to them. Yeah, it's right there. We gonna have pronouns. water, we gonna have have water your... fountains for conservatives and Democrats. Sure. What about people like me that are like you know moderate or just in the middle and, and think you're all full of shit. You get to be thirsty. <laughs> thirsty sparkles. You get to go drink urinal, urinal. So here's the thing. I actually, uh, one of the jobs I worked at for a good number of years, I actually worked for a Democratic senator. Uh-huh. Uh, people might, I don't know if they'd be surprised to hear that or not. But Why he, would they be surprised? I don't know. He had a uh, software company and um, we had people across the board working for the company. And this is a senator who actually, or, um, you know, he voted on stuff, obviously. Uh, and uh, politics very seldom came up, even though we were dealing predominantly with government clients. Uh, half his C-suite were Republicans, and um, we were encouraged to go vote. Yeah, they got the day off to go vote. They actually gave us off to go vote. Yeah, they give us a morning or afternoon off to go vote, um, and they never asked questions as to who we were voting for. They, they were just, told you who to vote for. Yeah, but they, they gave us off because they said, we think it's important that you go vote. Oh, so. I'm going to take it a little side here for a second, too. Um, it was funny, this one person who keeps being really obsessed with us on the internet, going on about how apparently just we're anti-vote. I know, this is one particular anti -vote. person. We're anti-vote, whatever that means. And I found that so funny because um, I actually worked the election polls uh, like three or four times because they didn't have enough people to work. And it was either they get people in there to work or people wouldn't have to go out of there or someplace else to vote or they might not get the, the opportunity to vote because it might be too far for them to go. So I went in and worked the polls. I, I gave time I didn't have to work these polls. And the people that are yelling and complaining about us and thinking they know who we are politically and all this shit, it's funny to me because they're making comments like, we're anti-vote. It's like, bitch, please, I went in and worked the polls so you're asking people like you could vote. Yeah, right. And I didn't ask who you voted for or if you voted the same as me or anything. I just worked it so everybody had that right to do it. And I'm tired of the, if you don't agree with me, I can't talk to you bullshit. I think it's, you know, and we did videos on this before. They're finding out that the extremists are, you know, they're calling for like, you know, oh my God, American Civil War. Uh, make up on both sides. Make up uh, statistically a very small group. Of very, people. very small group. We're talking like 80% of the people in the middle. And they fall somewhere in the spectrum. They're around center. You know, they're either a little further right, a little further left, whatever. They call it the tired middle. Because it's like the the ten percent on either end, left actually, or I think, right. I actually think it's skewed a little more to the left when I actually saw the research on it. But yes, yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Um, people are tired of the bullshit. They're tired of it. They're tired of everything being about politics. Everything being like, look, you can have. I mean, if your friend's a douchebag, and your friend's constant. I mean, honestly, I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. If you come in and start spouting off politic, 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 politic at work all day long and you know i'd be like just shut the fuck up yeah just even if you do agreed your job with me, i'd be like even if i agreed with you i'd be like just shut the fuck and here's up the thing too job. is like that's all that's all twitter is and if you're waiting for someone to agree with you 100 percent to be able to be friends with them you're only gonna be friends with yourself because nobody's gonna 100 percent agree with you but the fact that this person cannot be friends with anybody unless they, they lean the same direction politically is ridiculous and stupid 
it's insane to me. Here are some of the reactions. Again, I don't want to put a lot of these people in the cross here. I picked a picked a couple and I don't do not contact anybody. Just reiterate because you know. Uh it's insane to me that Stephen Moffat claps back at a homophobe incredibly eloquently, and a lot of people's main takeaway is hold up your mates yes. with conservatives. Like it's news to them that there's more to people in the real world than just their voting. Thank you. Agreed. Oh my God. Agreed. I know, right? Um uh, this guy here. I knew as soon as I read that comment from Stephen Moffat, unequivocally putting a far right person in their place for bigotry, that terminally online tweeters takeaway would be his throwaway. Now I have some conservative friends, but line before he delivered SmackDown. Uh, if your granny's friends, cousin's stepmother's hairdresser happens to be conservative, prepare to be held accountable for their sins. And sense. the sins should be in quotes because, yeah. you know, I, I'm yeah. getting so tired of, like, the worst thing you could possibly be ever is a Republican. No, the worst thing you could possibly be ever is an extremist, and that applies to both sides. So, look, I mean, this person puts this out there. Now, this is British politics, which I'm not even going to pretend to fully understand. No. I've been homeless and nearly started to death because of the Tories. If you can tolerate someone who will vote for human rights violations, you're scum. <sighs> but why yeah. are you homeless and, and wait but, 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 but why are you is it because you are, are you working because or are you just expecting to have handouts i mean there's that's a difference you need more com you need more if you're going to make comments like that you have to provide more uh you know description of what the issue is god so back to this this person uh you know many conservatives want lgbtq plus people dead no I they don't what? Oh I can God. tell you for a fact that's not true. Frosty Mac, who grew up on Twitter and has been as 21 years old, so in the last seven years, has been conditioned by Twitter, has this opinion that Twitter gave him, him or her, I don't even know if it's him or her, I don't even care, about, uh, you know, what people that, you know, want, 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 and don't want. It's like, I have a lot of people I know that are, are conservatives. I have relatives that are conservatives. A lot of our listeners are conservatives, a lot of, we have a lot of listeners who are conservatives. And I can tell you for a fact that most conservatives don't want LGBTQ people dead. God, that's just stupidest. Any more than people like that person seems to want anybody who deems as far right dead or out of the way. This this is the problem. Like, this is why I'm, I'm getting so tired. Put I'm your heads tired. out of your asses and tired look around the, the world. Like, here's my here's my question. Here's my question to people. And I was going to ask this on Twitter Yesterday, I thought about asking it because I'm seeing it uh, like all over the place. Yes. The, the, the extremism. It's like in the last, since we started talking about this kind of stuff on the channel, both sides have gotten more polarized. Mm -hmm. They have. Like there is no even, like nobody even wants to attempt to meet in the middle on anything. Which is a problem because when you're put into, a, it, it, especially people that are politicians, they're there to try to meet in the middle and come up with solutions, but they don't want to. So I guess my question is because, you know, I used to think when we started this channel, and I still think for the vast majority of people this is true, but I used to think that people wanted the pendulum because it, it had swung pretty far left to swing back closer to center. And now I'm like, I'm not sure if that is even going to be good enough for some people. I have to think it's that. It's the same thing, different side. Right. I'm like, will anybody be, I mean, the people that would be the happiest if, if things swung back close to center are going to be the 80% in the middle of it are fucking tired of bullshit. all of it. All of it. Um, but it's just constant. It's just, God, it's just tiresome. It's tiresome. I mean, this is like the witch hunts in Hollywood. Like if your friends, if you're a conservative and you're friends with a conservative, we need to blacklist you from shit. And you know, and it's, it's so that mentality is just if, bullshit. If we put a bunch of rocks on you and they're Mark C for conservative and you sink, um, then you're a witch. <laughs> you're conservative. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, and, and this is, look, and again, and we've been very upfront with this and people start getting getting on us. They do. Uh, they're like, what the hell's wrong with you? You know, um, you're, you're, well, people get mad when they find out we're not, we're not a Republican either. We have never said since the beginning of the channel. We've made it very clear. We've made it very clear. You look at our, some of our very first videos. I said, we are basically uh, old school Democrats or were, I'm not, I'm no longer a Democrat, but old school liberals who are tired of all the really extreme stuff coming from what was our side. I mean, currently, if you got to know, because people, you know, apparently you're being judged by your, your political affiliation. I'm actually a libertarian. Um, I, you know, I, I, I switched uh, a couple of years ago. But, I mean, I still, I personally still feel like my politics are exactly where they were 10, 15 years ago. It's 
the goalposts had moved. Everything well, else has changed. For me, I just, I, I'm in the middle. I'm just like, I don't even have a party as far as I'm concerned because I, I think they're, the, the extremists are all full of shit. I think there's a bunch of people that he's booted out of, out of office because on both sides, because they refuse to work together and do their damn job and they're all about making money for themselves. I'm more of like a person who is like, I want to look at the issues and the candidate, each one, and it doesn't matter if they're Republican or Democrat, I want to see where they stand on their policies and go accordingly to their history and to who they are and what they, they want to do. And if that aligns what I'm thinking, then I'm going to vote for them. And if they happen to be Democrat, great. They happen to be Republican, great. I'm to the place now where I think, you know, it's about the person, not about the, the party, because I'm so sick of everything being about the party. I, Fuck I, it. I'm so, here's the Fuck thing. it hard. Kill it. Whoa. Fuck it till you kill it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that needs to be a shirt. Oh, God, we get arrested for selling this. No, I guess my thing is, like, what's going to happen, though? And this is, like, the worst possible thing that could happen, right? Well, no, there's a lot of really bad things. But, I mean, what could potentially happen is people get so burnt out on politics. They won't vote anymore. They don't vote anymore. They don't They don't even give a shit anymore. They just it's not going to make a difference. They just let the politicians run rampant. That's what's been happening. Either side, they just let them run rampant and just control us like a bunch of freaking sheep, which is what I think is going on. But people are just so checked out that they, because the extremists, they don't care. They just don't care anymore. Like, whatever's going to happen, happen. I don't give a shit. I'm going to just play some Nintendo and turn off my brain and... But the fact that you can't be friends with somebody from a different party is stupid. That's like, tell people you can't be friends with them, but somebody who identifies differently than you at all. It's like when you say, well, my best friends identify a certain way. Well, that's your token friend. I'm so tired of hearing that shit. Oh, my God. Because a lot, there's a lot of people in the world who just look at people as, they don't, they, don't, they don't judge you by your race, gender, sexual orientation, your religion. They're just like, hey, we like the same stuff, and we get along really well, and you're my friend, and you happen to be different than me. So what? So the hell what? Yeah, I'm think, so tired of this shit. Stop being so divisive. You know, it's funny, too, because everybody's, like, getting on neurotic. And uh, he actually ran a, a one of the biggest comic shops in San Francisco, mm -hmm. one of the most liberal areas in the country for years, and everybody got along fine. Everybody got along fine until a few years ago. Until Twitter. Twitter stirred the shit up, you know? It's ridiculous. But now, it's like, look, this has to stop. You can't witch hunt somebody. Like, you don't have to agree with somebody's politics, but you cannot witch hunt people based on their friends. Well, it's going to be know? really hard when you go to the store and you say, I, I'm checking out now, but I only can have a cashier that identifies the same way as me. Do you have a blue dot or a red dot on your forehead? Right. That's I need to know. Gonna, I need to know. know because I can't, I can't have someone being, I can't have my business money going to somebody who doesn't vote the same way as me. It's getting that ridiculous. I walk down the street. <laughs> right. I walk down the street and, and oh my God, there's somebody that's going to get hit by a truck. I need to know how they identify politically before I rush out and save them. Or, you know what, I, I, I'm walking down the middle of the street and I, I, I need to move over for somebody. Um, but if they don't, they don't vote the right, right way, they don't, I'm not moving for them. You don't know because most people don't know how you vote. It is what, you mean, scarlet letters? This is stupid. That's exactly Get the what's... fuck over yourself. And I'm pissed. It's like people can be friends with who the hell they want to be friends with. And not everybody, just because they vote a certain way, not every Democrat is a terrible activistic moron. Not every Republican is somebody who hates gay people and wishes them dead. This is the, the stupid arguments I've ever heard. Assholes come in every every shape, And they size. mostly hang out on Twitter, apparently. Yes, that's the problem. We're, we've got this uh, distorted version of reality because of social media. Um, you know, the rest of the world is just kind of carrying on uh, while Twitter just like, <sighs> you know, it's just... God, it's just bad shit. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of talking about it. I would love to move on. I would love for us to be like, let's let's talk about some cool stuff going on uh, right now. And we've said before, there actually were, you know, some pretty decent movies that came out this year. Yeah. There were some pretty decent TV well, shows. According to certain people you, act, or you ask, even if we said they were good, we still somehow said they were bad and deserved to die. Yeah. And Or if we say, hey, you know, I like this movie. Well, you're just siding with the Wokies. Oh, my God. Like, oh, for fuck's sake, I <laughs> like the movie. So we said Solo wasn't as, we, didn't, we said it wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be, and it wasn't that terrible of a movie. And, oh, my God. Uh, just, when you're in the middle, everybody hates you. Let's just I, I'm, this up. I'm tired of the whole thing. And, you know, more people need to get tired because eventually it'll just burn out. And I think it is burning out. I think the pen, pendulum is swinging, but it's just like, God... Just ridiculous. Absolutely Depends ridiculous. Pendulum just needs to stop moving and I'm, call it a day. Well, well, why I clicked on it is I'm like, why is Stephen Moffat trending? And Stephen Moffat was trending because people on Twitter were having a shit fit. He said he had conservative friends. That's it. I thought, oh my God, Stephen Moffat die? No. 
that's it. That literally is it. And now he said he's going to come back to Doctor Who and write a couple episodes. They're going to try to get you watch. They're going to try to get him canceled off of Doctor Who, the guy who ran the show successfully for several years. Well, going the way he was running the last season and the mm. way the stories were going, I mean, I'm more about not having to do episodes because of that. If you go back to his um, earlier episodes, Blink. you yeah. know, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that, the ones that he started out doing that were fantastic, I'm for it. But we go back to look how clever I am. You, you know, I'm not, not going to be able to make any heads or tails of this whole damn thing to the very last few seconds. Then, you know, no. But if you can go back to the good stuff, I'm there. Anyway, let's wrap this one up. It's yep. run long. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Don't be a prick. Bye.